time. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have a bicycle that I want to redo. <laughs> oh, this bike I got at the local dump that was in the metal pile. Somebody was getting rid of it. It has no seat, but that's okay. A little quick short story. Uh, Mother's Day, we always take my mother out to the local greenhouse and we went through one of the greenhouses and they had these uh, bicycles, very small little planter bicycles. And she thought they were so cute, but they were like, I don't know, $130. And it was a crazy amount of money. What we wanted to do or what I wanted to do was I decided I would find one either for sale, for free, at the dump, whatever. And I found this one a few days after I decided that at the dump in the metal section. So I'm going to make this into a, a bike planter. I want to spray paint it. I'm gonna spray paint it white because it'll match her decor at her house a little bit better. I want to put something on the front as a planter. And then I'm going to put a box uh, for a planter, I'm going to have to make one probably to put on here and then fill it with dirt and we can put plants in there as well and hopefully they'll cascade down and look really beautiful down, you know, as they come down. I got some uh, Arpetunia uh, waves and so the waves usually will go out over and just, just hang and look really beautiful. So I want to get this spray painted first and I was waiting for a good day when it wasn't raining, the wind wasn't blowing, the bugs weren't too bad and uh, well the wind's blowing, it's not raining and the bugs eh, aren't too bad because the wind's blowing. You may hear some chicken noises because I do have a homestead that has chickens, a rabbit, hubby's on the tractor right now, uh, we've been doing some gardening stuff, some yard work, we've been busy today. But I'm gonna take a couple minutes and I wanna try and get this at least one coat sprayed and see how much more I'll need. So I'm gonna take you along and show you what I do with this bike. So stick around. where the seat normally would go and to the back of the bike. So I have a bunch of these um, pressure treated pieces of wood already and I don't think I'll have to do any cutting except for when I do the end. So I'm just gonna make a regular, just a wood box like so and then I'll cut a couple pieces to go on the ends. That one looks a little warped. I may have to find a different one. Um, and so that will go on the ends and hold that in. And then I should be able to drill a hole for where the post goes uh, for the seat because I want this to sit down on that and give it a little more stability and hold it. So, and these already have some holes in it, like for drainage. I may put some more, especially in the bottom. But I like how it has it on the sides as well. So it will give it a place to come out on the sides. So I'm just going to first, let's work on this side. And what I'm gonna do is drill some holes. Because my screws are not very long, I think these are inch long screws, so they're not going to go in very far. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a bigger drill bit and go where I drilled those little tiny holes and I'm going to drill in just a little bit. And that way the head of the screw can go inside. gives it some grip. So now what I'm going to do is just take my regular Phillips tip and see if I can 
show you. So that the head of that screw goes right inside there. And it makes that screw so it will go in a little bit further and also it makes that screw head so it doesn't sit on top of the wood. You could fill it if you wanted to. You could do, use wood putty and fill that. I'm not going to do that. There we go. So there's that side. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. I have a pencil out here because I forgot it. But I'm just going to measure here and just mark the top. There's my mark. Mind the messy nails. Working hard today on projects. So, what I'm going to do, let's see if hopefully you guys can see. Straight enough, I think. Perfect. So, let's see if this will fit on the other end perfectly. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is use this as a template. Use a tip of the screw again. Just go all over the top of the wood. A bunch of times so I can see. There we go. You can see the line. Straight-ish. That's some tough wood. Okay. And there's my other end of my box making a basic wood box all right so again we're gonna be we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna drill a hole maybe I'll do three and I'm gonna take my bigger tip like I did with the other with the sides and just go in just a little bit Gonna want to suck it in but just don't let it suck it all the way in because you don't want it to go all the way through the only one that you want to go all the way through is the little tiny one that one can go all the way through into your next board my bunny's helping me here that's bun bun if you can see her beyond the bike she's white the bike's white so yeah the bike is painted um i tried to keep the tires from getting sprayed and then I ended up just saying whatever because it's going to be we can turn those so they're down in the dirt and hidden so it'll be fine but the box is made so the next thing I want to do it's going to sit back here <clears throat> on the fender of the bike and I'm going to use this as another piece of stability so what I need to do is put a hole in the bottom of the box it'll help with drainage and it'll help keep it stable and it'll make it so the box can be flat across so what i have i have kind of a rough idea of where i want the hole and i have this paddle this is going to make a hole in my the bottom of my box hook it onto my screw gun. All right, so my paddle's on there and I'm just going to pick a spot where I want to think I want to have that hole and I'm going to just screw it in. There's my hole. You could do that. This could be a birdhouse if I wanted it to. Those holes are perfect. Just need to be sanded a little bit. Let's see how this sits on the bike. Hopefully it sits the way I'm envisioning. So I'm going to take that hole and put it down over that part. It doesn't sit completely flat. I'm going to use zip ties to hold it on, I think. I'm hoping that will stabilize it, which means I'm going to put more holes in it so that I can zip tie to the fender. I got an idea. I don't like how it's not sitting flat, but if I cut that hole a little bit bigger, it'll go down over this part and it will sit on here then I think it may be flat. It doesn't have to be completely because even 
with it being at an angle, it will be good because it will drain off water that wants to sit in there. But I want it to look kind of flat. What this is my jigsaw. And I'm going to make this hole a little different or a little bit bigger, wider down on this end so that I can fit that down over. Okay. Let's see. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Okay, look at that. Look at how flat that sits. And it's even more stable. Obviously not perfect. I've got a zip tie. Hopefully that'll get rid of any of the moving too much. Let's show you inside what it looks like. See if I can explain a little bit better. So before I had it sitting just on this post as far as it went down here. So I made this hole a little bit bigger so that it would go down over this part and sit down on the next section of the bike. And it definitely holds it in better. If I hadn't cut so wide on each side, it probably would hold it even better. That, I'm gonna make some holes to on each side of the fender and somewhere over here so that I can zip tie some uh, through there so that it will hold the box on a little bit better but so far i'm pretty happy with what what it looks like okay front of the bike so i want to kind of somehow get this on there maybe sitting on there so then i can put some holes in this side uh, and zip tie it to the frame of the bike over here and then i also need holes in the bottom so i could put a bunch of holes and also zip tie around the fender I think that will work really well. I don't want to do it yet because I want to wait and put this together at my mom's. Fill it all with dirt there because it's just going to be added added weight that I don't need. But I think I've basically got the basic idea and I'm not sure if I want to spray paint everything. I kind of like the box the way it is rustic and I could build another one to go on the front here. But I figure once the flowers get big enough, those will just take over this anyway so you won't be able to see it hopefully the next time you see this it's going to be at my mom's all planted with flowers and set up so you can see what it looks like she loved it guys so in the end i used a basket in the front that i used on a previous project and i gave her the flowers from my fourth of july patriotic decor and i think it came out really great i hope you like it too let me know down in the comments take care